a Brazilian man infected with the AIDS virus has shown no sign of it for more than a year since he stopped HIV medicines after an intense experimental drug therapy aimed at purging hidden dormant virus from his body, doctors reported on Tuesday. That's pretty amazing. The case needs independent verification, and it's way too soon to speculate about a possible cure, scientists caution. These are exciting findings, but they're very preliminary, said Dr. Monica Gandhi, an AIDS specialist at the University of California in San Francisco. This has happened to one person and one person only, and it didn't succeed in four others given the same treatment. So maybe he's special in some way, his makeup. Another UCSF specialist, Dr. Stephen Deeks, said, this is not a cure, just an interesting case that merits more study. The case was described at an AIDS conference where researchers also disclosed an important prevention advance. A shot of an experimental medicine every two months worked better than daily Trivada pills to help keep uninfected gay men from catching HIV from an infected sex partner. Hundreds of thousands of people take those pre-exposure prevention pills now, and the shot could give a new option, almost like a temporary vaccine. If the Brazil man's case is confirmed, it would be the first time HIV has been eliminated in an adult without a bone marrow or stem cell transplant. Independent experts wanted to see whether his remission lasts and for the intense drug combination that he received to undergo more testing. I'm very moved because it's something that millions of people want, said the 35-year-old man who spoke to the Associated Press on condition that his name not be published. It's a gift of life, a second chance to live. Transplants are now two other men nicknamed the Berlin and London patients for they were treated, were cured. Pre what the hell? I got it. Let me read that again because it didn't sound right. Transplants are how two other men nicknamed Berlin and London patients for how they were treated. They were cured previously. Okay, that what was their nicknames because of how they were transplanted or where, I guess. I'm the living proof it's possible to be cured, the London said the London patient in a news conference at his AIDS meeting, which is being held online because of the pandemic. He and the Berlin patient had donors with a gene that confers natural immunity to HIV infection. Such transplants are too medically risky and impractical to attempt on a large scale. So doctors have been trying other approaches. It's hard to eliminate HIV because it establishes an early reservoir of blood cells where it lies dormant. It can't be attacked by medicines or the immune system. Infections can be controlled with drugs, but as soon as patients stop taking them, the dormant virus activates and renews the disease. Dude. That used to be like the biggest thing people were afraid of and Basically, because of these drugs, people dr practically don't worry about it anymore, uh, which sucks because you can still get it. It's still prevalent. Dr. Ricardo Diaz of the University of S Sao Paulo in Brazil led a study testing strong and new drug combinations to try to purge this reservoir. We're trying to wake up the virus and boost immune system's ability to limit eliminate it once it's flushed out of hiding. The Brazil man had been taking a standard three-drug combo to suppress his virus in September 2015. Diaz added two newer ones to intensify his treatment, plus another form of vitamin B3 that may help expose dormant virus. I didn't know that. We can't search the entire body, but the best evidence we do not have infected cells. The most convincing evidence Tests show the man has lost nearly all HIV antibodies, substances the immune system makes when fighting the virus. Eager for independent verification, the patient said he went to a counseling center for an anonymous HIV test in February, and it was negative. Dude, that's freaking awesome. Anyway, there's more to this. I am going to link it at bizarrebus.com.